so we're gonna call the tone deaf bard, right? Well, hello there, strangers. <laughs> you finally called. I thought you were having so much fun that you'd completely forgotten about me. Nope. Oh, tone deaf bard, a whole bunch of really strange things happened. A strange machine that can imitate the power of a god? Wow. <laughs> I didn't know the Fatui had plans like that. Their imaginations are truly running wild. So, judging from your tone, it sounds like you don't know any more about this than we do. Alas, I am but a humble bard who sings for his mora in the tavern. Why would I know anything about it? Ugh, so annoying. <laughs> but other than that, did you two have fun? We did! We ate a lot of yummy food and saw loads of amazing things! It was really cool! <laughs> That's good. The point of traveling is to record any feelings stirred along the way. As long as you had an unforgettable experience, this journey has served its purpose. As for the mysterious voice, Although we don't know who it was, not only did she not harm you, she also helped you to gain a better understanding of each other, right? If you look at it that way, maybe she meant you well. I mean, if she was able to intercept Alice's communication tool, I'm sure she's also plenty capable of attacking you. Hmm... Tone Deaf Bard is right! <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some peace of mind. Just enjoy your vacation to the fullest. And don't forget to tell me all about the marvelous mirages when you get back. I want to record all these beautiful memories and turn them into ballads. Every summer will become an unforgettable song. Then I'll just wait for your return. Happy vacationing! Hmm. If Tom Def Bart thinks it's okay, then maybe there's nothing to worry about. After all, Tone Deaf Bart is still a god. We should probably trust him. Let's head back. We don't want to keep everyone waiting. <gasps> Hold on. Did Official say earlier that she's going to catch some crabs? Oh, Paimon wants to go too! Now you have solved the mystery. Doesn't it make you feel happy? Satisfied? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just a little bird that sometimes flies by these islands, and am now watching you from far, far away. I just so happened to sense a power here that has something to do with me. I was curious, so I landed on the beach to quietly watch everything that took place on these islands. It was fascinating. The ones who came here to work were so busy, and yet, I still saw genuine smiles on their faces from time to time. And then all of you arrived later on, bringing your glorious dreamscapes and wonderful willpower. Your dreams are like the pure and delicate bubbles floating on the water. The more beautiful the illusion, the more it fascinates me. I'm not able to travel myself, but I do admire free spirits like yourself. So, I helped them design a little something for you all. I hope you liked it. As I said, I don't have an agenda. I'm just a little bird. I stopped here to admire your lives, joys, sorrows, and all. You are a special person with a unique and brilliant glow. I decided to communicate with you in this way because I'm really curious about you. There's no need to wonder about my name. Maybe one day in the future, we will meet in another place. When that time comes, I think you'll be able to recognize me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? The crabs don't catch themselves! 